back again ladies and gentlemen uh, bathrobe chronicles number 134 and and okay don't beat me up on this one this is about Lindsay Lohan L-O-H-A-N uh, who has gotten a lot of press lately a judge just sentenced her to 90 days in jail and of course she's appealing and so forth and so on that's not what I want to talk about what I want to talk about is and this is you know I have no originality of course uh, this is Access Hollywood okay watch people who quote Access Hollywood but here's here's what I wanted to say this is from Access Hollywood it would seem to be and it says here Lindsay Lohan will undergo an evaluation from doctors Sharma, something or another Sharma and Adam Weissman, uh, they have learned. Access Hollywood has learned. So and so is a psychiatrist, the other guy is a psychologist, will interview the jail bound star and submit an opinion as to best type of program for the dependent. Excuse me, defendant, according to a minute order from Tuesday's court hearing obtained by Access. The interview will also determine whether alcohol has adverse effects with Lohan's prescriptions. And then it goes on and on and on what her uh, uh, probation officer is saying about the drugs she takes and things like this. And um, there's another good one here. Hang on, where was it? Uh, sorry, folks. Well, there was something... Um, in here that said about how long it would take for them to evaluate her. Uh, hold on a minute here. Oh, oh, this is great. Yeah, you're going to love this. Okay, I'm going to love this. Maybe you won't. Uh, as for the actress's current condition, the psychiatrist reportedly told TMZ that he will spend at least a few hours, potentially half a day, with this woman. Come on. You guys know anything about psychiatry and evaluations and all that stuff? A half a day? Come on. Now, there's a couple of things here. Number one is, why should we, the public, know about anything that's going on with Lindsay, so-called, and her doctor? I mean, come on. That's not right. Whether she's a star or not, I mean, this stuff shouldn't be spread all over the place. She has a right to privacy for crying out loud. I mean, who are these whack job psychiatrists for crying out loud who would even talk to anybody about this, who even make these statements? That's number one. <laughs> number two, a half a day? Come on! <laughs> what are we talking about? That doesn't happen in real life to regular people. You think a psychiatrist is going to spend a half a day with you? Get a grip. You know, you'll get the, what was it, 55, 50 minute hour or something? <laughs> Come on! You know, I doubt if they even have the 50-minute hour anymore. It's most likely more than like the 40-minute hour. I mean, in other words, what do you really need to know about Lindsay? Lindsay, you're a damn drunk, and you use drugs. Okay, knock it off. <laughs> I mean, come on. There's nothing complicated about this. There truly isn't. And what's the program going to be? Unfortunately for Lindsay, it's going to be some kind of 12-step crap. But uh, that's what she's going to end up with. And then seeing this dork psychiatrist half a day <laughs> I mean it is unbelievable and I'm not making light of her plight whether she is a dork or not uh, it's not funny that she's had these problems with booze it's not funny that she's gonna spend 90 days in jail you know we all like to beat up on the celebrities you know the big folks you know we're down here at the bottom and we all like to see them get in trouble we all like to see them you know the judge really rail on them, you know, beat them up and send them to jail. We all really like that. And it, number one, it's sad that we like that. And number two, it's sad that anybody, Lindsay or just regular crackhead off the street, goes through all of this stuff. But it, it is kind of humorous. <laughs> Sorry. From the standpoint of the psychiatrist might spend half a day. Oh, terrific. Anyway, I'm sure this is a waste of time. And I'll get some... Uh, and if you guys want to send me some uh, negative comments, I'll understand it. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thanks for enduring. And as Pat Condell would say, peace, ladies and gentlemen.
peace.